What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to new video guys. Today we're gonna be installing some lowering springs on the E92 M3. So we pulled in the car just now. Over here, I ended up getting a set of Swift springs for the rear and then for the front. Since these are already connected and these are EDC, we're just gonna go ahead, throw these onto the M3 since mine have EDC. So it's essentially like a coilover already. If you guys actually want a tutorial on how to install the springs, uh, I have another video that I will link in the description for you guys if you guys wanna check out how to do it for now these are already installed so we're just gonna go ahead and throw these on the car as you guys saw already i got some b-roll of how the car sits as is with the stock suspension we do have edc stock suspension as you guys can see right here we have the edc button i actually need to get these buttons replaced too because they are falling off very very easily that is a very common issue but yeah so we're installing these today I have my boy Erlon helping me over there. So we're gonna record the whole process for you guys and show you the difference of what it looks like when it's actually properly lowered. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alrighty guys, so Erlon went ahead, already swapped out this side. So this is the difference right here. Uh, so this is the one, the one that's a little bit cleaner is the new one. Um, as you guys can see, these are as even as it's gonna get and it looks like it drops it a decent amount, nothing crazy, uh, but it is a lot better than the stock height. So compressing, you have a bigger spring, so it compresses less. Yeah. The other one's smaller, so that means it's still gonna be a bigger difference okay on the ground so that's be good sick. yeah so there is a little bit of a difference we're gonna show you guys uh, after the whole thing is installed so yeah so you guys can see an actual video difference of how the stock one is a little bit taller than the uh the swift springs so yeah let's go ahead continue installing All right, guys, so both fronts are installed now. So we are gonna go ahead lower it here in just a second. It's not gonna be the complete low because it needs to be driven for it to go completely low. So we're gonna see the difference here in just a second. We're about to find out how low it goes. How low can you go? Dang, bro. Look at that, bro. By the way, guys, this was a lift kit, actually. Um, yeah, so. We must put them in upside down. Yeah, I think we put them in upside down. <laughs> Dude, actually it looks yeah. so much better. You really can't get the jack out. Dang. Can you grab another jack and jack up yeah. the sides? Dude, it actually fills in the gap. Dang, bro. That fills in the gap like crazy, dude. That actually is feeling like perfect. Wow. <laughs> I'm actually really happy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it wasn't gonna do too much, but it's actually sitting way, way better. Dang, guys. All right, I'm gonna get some B-roll for you guys once the rears are installed as well. But so far, the difference actually is quite a bit. It did drop it a lot because before there's like a huge gap, and now the gap is not as much. It's actually really low, huh? Well, to be honest, it looks I, clean it, for sure. I just don't know what it looked like. Before. It look, yeah, I didn't know how it looks like before. I'll show right you guys now, pictures. It looks like the thing is, I'm looking at the rears compared to the rears. It looks the same level. Hold yeah. On, did you put no. the rears? No, we're not done with the rears. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But these look. No, actually, no, it is lower. lower. Actually, no, it's it way lower, lower, bro. It is lower. It is lower. I'll show you guys pictures of before because I took some pictures. You know it's lower. You, you, you know it's lower when he had when he put a jack in there and he wasn't able to get the jack out. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's definitely lower. That's how you know it's lower. Yeah. Right, you got pictures of it before? I got pictures of before. It is pretty good. Actually. Shit. So that was that side though, but it's a lot lower. And you're still gonna settle, like you said. Let me see. I think you got you got about like half an inch or an inch lower. Probably about an inch. I'll throw up the picture for you guys, but you guys will see. It, it, it looks way better. It actually looks proper. Like, this looks like how it should have been from factory. You know what I mean? 
so that's a lot better I got, I got oh man that fender's bugging me i gotta get that fender fixed guys but um yeah the wheel <laughs> it's sitting much more it looks good i don't know what the proper term is but it, it just sits proper now so very happy about that let's go ahead and install the rear Alright guys, we're gonna take the jack stands off and then lower the car and see how the rear sits. Alright, moment of truth. Moment of truth. Dang, that monster truck fit me though, bro. <laughs> it's kinda hard to tell, I'm not gonna lie. It's hard to tell. I think we need to drive it. No, it's way lower. Is it really way lower? Yeah, look at your camera. Look at the photos you have. Okay, I'll have to check. It looks very similar to me. Maybe I'm tripping. I think we might need to drive it so it sits proper. Oh, it is a lot lower actually. Yeah, this thing looks way better. Okay guys, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out in the sunlight, get some nice B-roll so you guys can see the before and after difference, uh, and then give it a little nice little drive, see how it feels. Apparently these are some of the best springs that you can get when it comes to how the driving feels with uh, lowering the car. So apparently these are one of the top notch uh, lowering springs out there. So we're gonna go ahead and test that. So let's go ahead and pull the car out. Alrighty guys, it is looking way, way better. Actually looks lowered. Now, it's, that fitment's way better actually. I don't know if you guys can see that front, but before it was like monster truck height. Let's go ahead, give it a nice little drive and get some B-roll for you guys. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little install on the lowering springs. Honestly, it changes the look of the car so much. I don't know if you guys saw the before and after. So it is sitting way, way lower, which is looking way, way better as well. So I'm very happy about that. Finally got this thing a little bit modified. These springs, I've been driving on them for about a week, week and a half now, and uh, they are feeling really nice, really firm. Almost feel stock to be honest with you guys, which is actually pretty good. That was the feeling I was trying to go for, was try trying to keep the EDC suspension uh, as nice as that is, as well as lowering it. Uh, so these Swift Springs are very good at doing that. So if you guys are interested, I'm gonna leave the link down below uh, to the Swift Springs. So uh, definitely go check them out if you guys have an E9X M3. Uh, but with that being said, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end the video here. Make sure to check me out on Instagram. Make sure to subscribe down below. Remember, stay safe, stay happy, and stay in that project car. I'll catch you guys later.